Happy New Year! Hi guys, thank you so much for watching my channel. I'm Caroline and I cannot believe that it is 2021. Whew. Much like the rest of you, I have been very much looking forward to this year. And it's not just because, you know, 2020 was a dumpster fire, although in a lot of ways it was. I'm just really glad that, you know, after everything that the world has collectively gone through in 2020, a lot of people are going into this new year with, you know, peak optimism and hope. And I know I have so many exciting things that I am hoping and looking forward to this year, including getting married. So. I just, I'm really excited for this year and I'm excited to be here. I'm glad that you're here. If you're new, please consider subscribing down below and giving this video a thumbs up. If you watched my What I Got Myself for Christmas video, you will already know what this looks like. This is my Coach Cassie 19. It was something that I got myself as part of my Christmas gift. I got it technically during Black Friday and it's just adorable. I have mentioned in the past that I would not be getting the Coach Cassie. That is the larger version of this one. I'll be going through sizes, what fits inside, mod shots, all of that good stuff, so be sure to stick around for that. But as far as why I didn't get the larger size, it was really similar to a Leffler Randall style that I had in the past in my bad bags video I talked about how I didn't like it kind of puffed out from the body it seemed really bulky and I've steered clear of similar styles like the Louis Vuitton pochette Matisse and the coach Cassie this one was different in large part because it is a more compact size it's it's more petite and it technically does have that that girth let me just talk about the dimensions here because there was something surprising that I found. I don't have the Coach Cassie. Like I said, I'm not getting that bag, but I did compare the dimensions here. So on this little guy here, we have about seven and three quarters inches this way, about six and a half inches this way, and surprisingly three and a quarter inch this way. Now, the Coach Cassie, which is the larger version of this, is actually 10 inches this way, so you do have, you know, more width, and it's slightly taller, it's seven and a quarter, and technically it is only one and three quarters this way. So, as far as the bulkiness and the, the depth, technically this bag is, is that bulkier size because there there's more space here but again I think it's just because the overall size just has a lower more petite profile I was drawn to this bag and I still don't think I'm gonna get the Cassie another reason why I prefer this over the larger Cassie size is that, that this actually comes with three different straps which I find just so versatile and perfect when you're traveling when we get to travel safely and regularly. You don't have to bring three different bags. You can have kind of three three looks in one and that's something that's great about bag accessories and just changing out straps. So here you kind of have this dainty day, even kind of a casual evening look with this short handle here. The drop is about four inches. You also have these other straps which I have kept inside this little baggie here. You have the long detachable strap. This extends to almost 22 inches. It's about 21 and three quarters. This strap is actually the same length as the strap that you will get on the Cassie. You also get probably my favorite feature. Let me go ahead and attach this for you guys. Here we have what is, I think, my favorite strap out of the three, which is the chain strap. And this has a longer drop than the little white one. This is about nine inches. I love this strap because I think it just dresses up the bag a little bit more. It feels like jewelry because you have this, you know, gold hardware, it's the chain, and it just makes it so that you can bring it to kind of a nice dinner. This is why I love the idea of this bag as a travel bag because you can have your, you know, casual crossbody look for the daytime when you're out sightseeing. You can go to a little casual dinner with this strap here, and you can always go to a nice dressier dinner with the chain strap. And all the straps, I mean, you could in theory store it inside so you can pick and choose your restaurants when you're out and about. I'm talking like that's like a normal thing. I'm gonna say it's a normal thing. 2021, we are looking forward with hope and optimism. Anyway, in here you do have your plastic little coach gold 
see in the front in that kind of brass and the classic coach turn lock opening. You have this slim pocket in the back, a slim pocket in the front, and then a girthier section in the middle that does have a little zipper pocket in there to keep things like a card case or even your passport secure. On the outside here, you do have this slip pocket in the back. There's no magnet or zipper or anything like that. It really is just a zip pocket. And on the bottom, you do not have any feet. It has this beautiful pebbled leather. Coach has really great quality leather. In my personal and professional opinion, I've worked as a buyer. You know, my colleagues felt the same way. Coach has some of the best quality leather in the industry. And some people have said, well, why am I seeing all these Coach products on third-party sites with all these scratches and everything like that? And you have to remember, you know, people don't always take care of their products. Wear and tear happens if you're not properly caring for your products. The non-textured leather for Coach is very susceptible to scratches because it is a very soft leather and that's why you have to take care of it. If you are not someone who can put that work in, Viator textured leathers like this pebbled one, Safiano leather generally, and you don't have to worry as much about it showing that wear and tear. It's just, it's an adorable bag. I haven't had a lot of occasion to use it, one, because I just got it recently, and two, because I'm not really going out anywhere. I'm, you know, trying to stay distant and, you know, trying to make sure that the healthcare system doesn't get overwhelmed. So I'm staying home a lot, but if I had to carry a bag around the house, I mean, this would be a great option. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see what fits inside. All right, I've gone ahead and filled this to what I would call a comfortable capacity. There's no excessive distortion um, as far as, you know, the outside and you being able to see any, any shapes or anything. There's a little bit in the front here, but We'll go ahead and look inside and see, and obviously if you had this bag, you would go ahead and adjust it based on what you would normally carry. So this is, you know, pretty much at capacity. There's room for maybe one more lip gloss on top here, but, you know, honestly, this fits pretty much the normal capacity that I would carry. Up top here, we do have you know, just a pair of sunglasses. These are my Saint Laurent sunglasses. I just went ahead and put this in this little black cloth pouch here so I can protect them from scratches but not have to have a full sunglasses case. You can see under there, I do have my wallet, just a normal kind of compact wallet size, very standard. There's a little coin pouch here. A beauty compact and a lip balm. You can obviously sub this with a lipstick if you are so inclined. In the front here, I did put a little hand lotion and like I said, you could also put a lip gloss. I know not everyone likes to have loose kind of liquid type items not in a pouch, but I just wanted to show what you're able um, what you're able to fit in here. And in this front pocket, I do have an iPhone excess in a little case here. You could also store it upright like this. Let's see if that works. You actually can't. I take it back. I take it back, guys. Um, you would not be able to store it upright like that in the front pocket. You might be able to get away with it in the middle, but that's because it's, it's, there's a greater depth, so it's kind of leaning at an angle. Really, I would only put it kind of sideways in the, in the front there. See that? And then you can see how it is a little tall. In the back pocket here, I just have a pack of gum and a card case and obviously you can swap any and all of this stuff out with things that you might have instead. You can also consider something like a wristlet. Although I don't know why you would have a wristlet in a mini bag, but if you wanted to, a wristlet would indeed fit up and down like that and you would be able to close it. 
You could also put it sideways like so, but it does take up most of the room. You could put that wristlet in and maybe fit in, you know, a compact and a card case, you know, your lip balm in front of it and have your sunglasses right on top there. And that would all fit, but truly for as mini a bag as this is, it will fit what I would consider all of my essentials for an everyday bag, not just a streamlined version, but truly something that I would feel comfortable carrying with all the stuff that I would want to have. All right, there you have it. Everything that fits inside the Coach Cassie 19, what it looks like on. If you have questions that I haven't answered, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to get to them. If you made it this far in the video, please leave the word confetti in the comments down below so I know that you watched to the end. Thank you so much for supporting me over this past you know, year and few months that I've had my channel going. I've really appreciated all the support. Everyone has been super supportive for the most part and it just has meant you know the world to me please you know spread the word have your friends give me a thumbs up and subscribe i would love all the support i can get i do appreciate it and if you have any ideas for what you want to see in the next year again leave them in the comments you know comment on my instagram i will you know do my best to see you know what we can come up with together Thank you so much, guys. I'm so excited for 2021. And until next time, bye.